the Oregon State Beavers are in the house, all the way from Corvallis. And while um, Corvallis may sound like erection medication, it is not. It's a city in Oregon, which is probably the only state that sells more marijuana than we do here in California. The Beavers are here in town to take on the Aggies of Utah State on Saturday in the highly anticipated Jimmy Kimmel LA Bowl. This is a bowl game named after me. I couldn't be happier. Having a college bowl game named after me was the second to last thing on my bucket list. The only box I have left to check is ruining Matt Damon's credit score. So <laughs> your opponents from Utah State were here last night. And you know we let some of the players introduce themselves. And of course, we have to be fair. We want to extend that same courtesy to you guys. So it's time to meet the team. Here they are now, your 2021 Oregon State Beavers. <laughs> I'm Andre Hughes Murray. I play linebacker, and I can't sleep without a nightlight. I'm Simon Sandberg, defensive line, and my mom thinks I won the Heisman Trophy. My name is Alex Austin. I play defensive back. I don't know where the first down is, and it feels too late to ask. I'm Jack Coletto. I play everywhere and I'm engaged to Pete Davidson. I'm Jane Grant. I play defensive back, and I collect antique coin purses. My name is Brandon Kipper. I play offensive line. I'm dating your mom, and we're really happy together. Bombshell. Well, mom always did want to date a football player, so... By the way, your mascot at Oregon State is kind of a weird one. Benny Beaver is the mascot. Uh, he seems aggressive for an animal that eats twigs, but that's the new Benny. The old Benny, this is the old Benny. He used to have a girlfriend, and uh, it looks like their dad there. Uh, her name was Bernice Beaver, but she disappeared. What happened to Bernice? There were a lot of unexplained killings up in Oregon. Maybe... <laughs> Anyway, Benny this weekend is going to meet my mascot. We came up with a special mascot specifically for this game. His name is Jimmy Camel. He's a camel with a beard and a mustache. And I'm going to tell you something. What makes Jimmy Camel the best mascot in all of sports is he throws up. He vomits for, uh, you know, for, for families. And my plan was to have him march right to the middle of the field and throw up in front of everyone. But the spoil sports over at SoFi Stadium said, it's a hard no on the vomiting camel. That was a direct quote. Which, uh, well, first of all, I'm suing them. As soon as the game's over, I'm suing them. I'm suing everybody. It's my bowl game. You know everyone has a throw-up bowl in their house for when you get sick, that bowl you throw up in? Well, this is my bowl you throw up in. <laughs> and not only that, we spent a, a pretty penny making this camel vomit capable, and the fans want to see this. So, Jimmy Camel, show them what you do. Show them what you can do. That's maybe the eighth weirdest thing that happened on Hollywood Boulevard today. <laughs> anyway, hopefully we'll be uh, able to work that into the halftime show. Most colleges right now are uh, about to go on winter break, and a lot of students might not come back. The Omicron variant is forcing a lot of colleges to go back to online learning, and some of the schools that are only online are moving even more online. Like the University of Phoenix, they're not, they, it now exists only in the metaverse. And <laughs> speaking of online learning, Pornhub, which is something you guys probably don't know about, um, not something you'd be interested in, but Pornhub released their annual report of the top pornographic searches in the country, and they broke it down by state, and the results are very interesting. In Arkansas, for instance, the number one most searched porn word was divorced, <laughs> which might be the saddest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> North Dakota's top search for the year was quickie, <laughs> which makes sense because it's freezing up there. You don't want to be naked too long. Louisiana won the least imaginative award. <laughs> Their top search was naked women, which it seems like a good place to start, but come on. North Carolina topped the charts with penis pump. <laughs> Indiana's top search is dildo, which is amazing. Mike Pence hasn't been governor for five years. He's still the top search result. Um, this is... 
in the state of Wisconsin, they had a very specific lesbian yoga, I, as if there were any other kind of yoga. I don't know. <laughs> Vermont's number one is tribbing, which not only do I have no idea what that is, I, I, I don't want to look it up because I'm worried I might run into Ben and Jerry, like, eating ice cream on top of each other. Utah, the home of your opponents on Saturday, their top church is Mormon. <laughs> Even their porn is clean. And o Oregon, where you guys do God knows what, the top church in Oregon is actually very festive. It's joy. <laughs> joy to the world, right? Anyway, we, uh, hey, we got a great show planned for you tonight. We have Christmas music tonight from Ed Sheeran and Elton John. We have the, uh, from the new Matrix movie, Neil Patrick Harris is here. And also tonight, we have a young man named Daniel Ranieri, who's from Brooklyn, and who we met just around this time last year when a video made the rounds, during which Daniel shared his thoughts on the COVID lockdown. A lockdown is when you say the inside, not the outside. Do you know what a lockdown is when you say the inside? So you plan on staying in the house till like June? Down. You gotta stay inside. Not the outside. What the? Do you, do you hear the news? Lockdown inside. The inside. Not the going out to parties in the casino. <laughs> so now that kid is starring with Ben Affleck in the new George Clooney movie, The Tender Bar who uh, we will also chat with later, George Clooney, he, who saw him on our show and gave him a big part in the movie, and he's great in the movie. And so he's gonna be here tonight. Speaking of great, it is now... It's time now for one of our favorite traditions of the year. Every December, we go through all the best clips from the past 12 months, and we whittle them down to the best of the best. And each of the clips you're about to see is excellent in its own way, but only one can be crowned Clip of the Year, and the nominees for Clip of the Year are number one, Power 8-Ball. I'm here with someone else who has gotten their ticket. Now, James, you bought your ticket. What are you going to do with that money if you win? Well, I'm definitely going to get a, a new supercharged Mustang with dual exhaust and about five kilos of cocaine, and I'll be good to go. Okay, so you like cars. You like yeah, cars. I love cars. Honk if you're zoomy. An Ohio State Senator making headlines for pretending he was in his office on a Zoom call when he was actually driving. Senator Andrew Brenner is seen wearing a seat belt and driving during a board meeting. Brenner said he wasn't distracted and was paying attention to the road, not the video. This comes as the Ohio House is considering a bill to crack down on distracted driving. A disturbance in the horse. Fortunately, almost everyone we spoke with got a head start on the insurance claims and got the ball rolling early last night. For now, we're live in Keller. Nicole Jacobs, back to you. Thank you, Nicole. My friends call me Butt. Good morning, sir. What's your name? Me? Yeah, you. Yes. Nathaniel Saxon, sir. Your name's not Butt. 3,000, you yo-ho, lying into my court with that as your screen name. What's your name again? Nathaniel Saxton, sir, but I don't believe that I typed anything like that in. Well, that's what it says. T-B-D-E-A-D. All right, thank you so much, Mike. I'm having a spot of tea because we have some royal news coming up. Oh, really? Yes, Do really. Tell Ryan. Well, well, yes, I will. <laughs> Good morning, there, ladies. Prince Philip's official cause of death has been <laughs> revealed. <laughs> cornhole Karen. All right, not gonna lie, I had to Google cornhole because I have the game in the back of my yard. But according to Wikipedia, cornhole is a sexualist slang vulgarism. For anus, the term came into the use in the 1910s of the United States as verb form to cornhole, which came into usage in the 1930s, means to have anal sex. I do not want my children to learn Thank about you. anal sex in middle school. I have never had anal sex. Thank I don't you. want to have anal sex. I don't want my kids Hard having anal stop. sex. And 
Gorilla's gone wild. The number one clip of the year for the year 2021 is, oh my goodness, Cornhole Karen. <laughs> Unfortunately, Cornhole Karen couldn't be with us tonight. She is uh, busy getting thrown out of a Trader Joe's, but here to accept on her behalf, please welcome the American Cornhole League Women's Doubles World Champions, Samantha Finley and Rosie Streaker. <laughs> We're so excited to be accepting this award as the two-time world champions for Cornhole with the American Cornhole League. <laughs> <laughs> We're excited to be a part of the fastest growing professional sport in America. Wow, that was a beautiful speech. Thank you so much. And to commemorate this very, very special and historic event, we made something very special, a cornhole board. <laughs> Ladies. Would you like to take a shot at filling, I'll hold that, there you go, at filling Karen's mouth with beans. Go ahead, our cornhole champions. Whoa! 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 Well, close enough, congratulations on Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. I hope you enjoyed that video. Hit subscribe and all your dreams will come true, assuming your dreams are to watch more YouTube videos.